I want to say, Drake and Deidre, we all love you so much, and we're rooting for John and Marlena, and we really appreciate what you do for us. Marlena falling from the building and going into a coma is literally my first television memory. When I started watching, Marlena was possessed. After I saw the legendary reunion on the pier, OMG. Marlena and John is roaming together. For the first time that I had seen them, they literally had me at hello. I was hooked. I actually started watching on TV in 2011 when Big Reboot was and John and Marlena came back. I started watching on YouTube when I ran across a John and Marlena montage. And then I brought my own VCR and used to edit my tapes to just have John and Marlena scenes. So I spent hundreds, thousands of hours editing my John and Marlena tapes. And that's where my little obsession started. So I recorded it on the audio. It's very simple. I love the chemistry. The chemistry. The undeniable chemistry that Deidre and Drake share. They're just so good together. They have this ability to draw you in. When Drake first joined the cast back in 1986, the chemistry between them was, not only was it great, but it was so much better than, and it was so much different from anybody else on the show. You could just tell that these were people that genuinely did like each other and like working together and being together. They have this connection with their audience that is amazing. Favorite storyline? Is that a trick question for a John and Marlena fan? I've loved so many of their storylines, but I always come back to the affair. The affair. The affair. The affair. Because they were just so into each other. And not that they aren't always, but that just made them. And it was just so perfect. The writing was fantastic. The acting was fantastic. And you could just you could cut the sexual tension with a knife. And they just did an amazing job. Possession, because it's so well done. I don't think anybody but Deidre and Drake could have pulled that off. Maison Blanche and Araman. As embarrassing as this may sound, whenever one of them loses their memory, I love watching them fall in love all over again. Many scenes are perfect. Of course, the Marlena, John hugging, kissing, holding hands are my favorite parts. The wilderness, because that's where their romance started. Then I like the pit. I do adore the end of 2006 when they had gotten back together because they were so lovey-dovey and it was really cute. And Deidre Hall had amazing hair. What I love most about John and Marlena is the way they love each other. The way they look at each other, the way they hold each other, the way they kiss. They're just, they're beautiful together. What I love most is how they connect. The kissing, the sex scenes, they're my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. I think Sherry Anderson said once that when he looks at her, he looks at her like she's everything in the world. I just, I love them. I love all of it. I love John and Marlena's devotion to each other and their family. They never give up on each other. So many obstacles, but they always come back to each other. They have this ability to give you that butterfly in your stomach kind of feeling, and you really, truly hope that love like this really does exist. Um, one of the saddest moments for me would have had to have been in 1991, when they had to let each other go. When Roman returned, that was really heartbreaking. Especially those scenes in Mexico when Marlena had this conversation with Abe. It was heartbreaking and I so wanted to hug Marlena at that moment. I hate that I can't just take him in my arms and stop the pain. I don't know how to stop his pain. I don't know how to stop it. Absolutely John's death scene in 2007. That was hands down the saddest moment in John and Marlene history. It was just the most phenomenal acting. They made this look so real. Those scenes just, they were so intense I just sat at the computer and cried. 
I still can't watch those scenes without crying. When Marlena held it together for that entire funeral and everything else, until she got into her bedroom and John wasn't there and she just broke down in tears. So much of the affair storyline, because we all sort of knew that it wasn't going to end exactly the way we wanted to. When they're in the church and she tells him that he's not the father. The saddest moments to me were when John is Roman was reading Marlena's letter in 1987 after she was presumed dead. I hated when Deidre and Drake were let go. I hated when they left. January 23rd, 2009. It was absolutely terrible. Uh, it was unnecessary. It shouldn't have ever happened. It was a horrible day to be a John and Marlena fan. I hated when they broke up our couple for the Alex North storyline. They need us to separate. I hated when there was just silly excuse to separate them. Obviously the Princess Gina stuff, I don't think anybody liked that storyline. Well, I have to say that probably my least favorite storyline would have to be the current one. So out of character. Okay, what'd you wish? Oh, I'll get it later. I mean, I'll get it later. Anytime those two are in a scene together, and they're in the background being silly or grabbing each other, distracting from whatever is supposed to be going on. That always makes me smile. Where are you going? I do love the pest spray. You are so pestering me. Pest spray. Anytime they make love because it's always so delicious. The little things. Sometimes it's just a look or a touch or the way they hold hands. It's always the little details that, that sort of catch your eye. That Halloween scene on the couch. Every cutting scene. By school. The Italian wedding. I was gonna say you may kiss the bride, but you seem to need no instruction. What makes Deirdre such an outstanding actress to me is the emotions she's able to convey. What really stands out to me is Deirdre's ability to actually play the subtleties and not overplay them. Her and some of the other vets have this style of acting that's really, really kind of a different level. She just plays the character with her entire heart and you have to appreciate her for that. It's amazing. Straight out of the gate, I know it's fickle, but I've always loved Deidre Hall's hair. Deidre's hair is enough to tune in and watch anything. I love that she cares so much about Marlena. She loves Marlena and John and she loves her fans so much. That's why I love Deidre Hall. Until you truly meet her in real life, you don't understand the presence that she has and, and just how she's just so sweet and how she just lights up the room. I can't imagine Days of Our Lives without her and I think her and Drake as a couple is magic. I just love Drake's fun-loving nature. Drake is hilarious. He is just so energetic and he's so hyper that you just walk away watching one of his interviews just feeling almost hyper yourself. I love Drake's level of commitment. The Maison Blanche scenes. Wow. His body shrunk. He looks so gaunt. I believed him. The new John storyline made me realize just how talented he is. He was able to do a complete turnover from his usual acting. That's just amazing. He is so sexy. I don't care if I am 24 years old. He is a sexy man. And then, of course, there's the way that he looks at his beloved wife. I always say to my husband, look how he looks at her and, you know, why don't you love me like that? And he kind of rolls his eyes and goes, that guy gives all men a bad reputation. <laughs> I was sick for a lot of years and they really kind of saved me. I mean, they took me away from the pain. It was enjoyable for me, which nothing else was at the time. They mean a lot to me because of that. They're not a super couple, they're the super couple. Um, they are days of our lives, to me. Even though it's only fiction, they have shown me how things can be, how good it actually can be. They represent the fantasy. I've met a great network of friends. 
so many new friends. I've met a lot of friends through that fandom, and that's, that's special. I grew up with them, and I know that it sounds really cheesy, but they're almost like a part of my family. And I feel like they've been a part of my life for so long, I hope I never truly have to say goodbye to them. The fact that, you know, they've been on the show for so long, and so many of us have watched for so long, I think is a huge testament to Deidre and Drake and their love for each other and their love for what they do and their love of the characters. And I personally, probably one with thousands of others, wouldn't mind if they were on my screen every day. Not easily.